Hey everyone, in today's video I want to talk to you a little bit about image quality and upscaling within Midjourney. I'll talk about the different parameters that we have available to us. I'll give you a little bit of detail on what those do and how you can best utilize them. I'll also go into some detail on some third-party applications you can use outside of Midjourney that can help you further upscale your images. I'll try to give you a couple different options, including a free one that I like to use and I think it's really good. I'll also provide timestamps down in the description below and any links to any of the products used. All right, the first parameter I want to talk to you about is the dash dash quality or dash dash cube parameter. So essentially what these do is they change the quality of the image and add more fine detail or less detail depending on the level of quality that you choose to add to the image. So if you use it in conjunction with the seed parameter, as we discussed in another video, which I'll link down below, you can actually variate the image slightly. The parameter changes how much time is spent generating an image. Higher quality settings will take longer to process the image. It will produce a more detailed image, which means you're going to be using more of your GPU minutes. Raising and lowering the quality of the image will produce different effects. So if you're going for a more realistic look in your images, you're going to want to use a higher quality. If you're going for something a bit more abstract or say watercolor, where that's not important, where you don't care about the fine details, then the lower quality will probably do. You're going to want to play around with these to really get a better understanding of it though. There's four levels of quality, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1, and 2. In versions 4 and Niji mode, only the first three qualities will matter. Quality 2 is incompatible. In version 3, you can use quality 2. Also, if you're using a higher quality than what your current version is compatible with, it won't use your GPU time. It'll simply downgrade to the highest compatible quality for that version. All right, let's take a look at how these different quality levels will affect an image. Let's start with looking at this image. This is Tim, the happy puppy dog. This was done with quality 0.25. The lowest level quality. Now we'll transition over to the next quality up. Here's Tim again in quality 0.5. As we can see the image is slightly changed. There's a little more detail. There's a little more hair. The detail around the tongue has slightly changed. I don't know if I would necessarily say this is a better version. Let's go up to the next version. Here's the highest version of Tim. This is quality 1. As you can see, the details around the mouth are much better. There's a lot more noise in the background as well. And there's finer detail around the hair. Overall, I think this is the best image of him. Now let's talk about upscalers. Midjourney has a couple different upscalers that we'll talk about. Upscaling an image will create a higher resolution of the low resolution image that you have in your first four square boxes when you create your initial image. Upscaling will also add some additional details to the image when it's completed. Upscaling will also produce different resolutions for different aspect ratios. And there's a few different types of upscalers on Midjourney for the different versions. For this one, we're going to focus primarily on version 4 because that's the main one you're going to be using. There's some other upscalers for version 3. I'll do that in another video. So now let's take a look at how we're going to upscale. So in order to upscale, we're going to go ahead and click on the U here on the corresponding image that we want to upscale. So that's going to be the top one right up here. So we would click this and then our image would generate. Now after we produce our images, we have two separate upscales that we can use. We have light upscale and we have beta upscale. I'll explain light upscale first. The light upscale feature will add a moderate amount of detail and textures. The light up scale is useful for faces and to smooth faces in older versions of Midjourney. You can also use the dash dash up light parameter to change the behavior of your first initial upscale by adding that to the prompt beforehand. Now the second upscaler is gonna be the beta upscaler. The beta upscaler will upscale the image without adding too many additional details. The beta upscaler is also useful for helping with faces and other issues that you may encounter. It can give you some slight differences. Also, as with the light upscaler, you can use dash dash up beta 
will help change your first initial upscale as well, if added to the end of the prompt. The first external AI upscaler that I'm going to suggest is Topaz Gigapixel. It's a really good AI upscaler. It's a bit on the pricey side, but if you're serious about AI art and you're using it for professional purposes, it's a really great tool. It's one of the more common ones and features a lot of great updates. And it has a great set of tools for you to use as well. But again, it's a bit on the pricey side. I personally use this one a lot and don't have a problem recommending it if you can afford it. The second AI upscaler that I want to show you is BigJPEG.com. This upscaler has two separate options. It has a free to use and a pay. The free to use version of this offers a times four upscale, which is pretty good. And on the pay side, they have multiple different plans, and they allow you to upscale images up to 12 times. Overall, it's a really good site. It's simple to use, and if you're just looking for something basic and you need a minimum amount of upscale, it's a great site to utilize. And their subscription plans offer a lot of different options. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining, please consider dropping a like or a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I have more tutorial videos from Midjourney down below. Please check them out. Thanks.